Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about a useful little theorem for the Laplace transform. And what I'm going to do is justify the result. It should be pretty straightforward. And then I'm going to do a quick example. So what it says is, so uh, if we have the Laplace transform, Laplace transform of some function f of t, which we denote as capital F of s, it says if we take the original function f of t, if we multiply it by t and we calculate the Laplace transform, it says we can find that new Laplace transform by simply uh, by taking the derivative and tacking on a negative sign is all it says. Okay, so let's justify this real quick. Again, shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Uh, should be pretty straightforward, I hope. So again, the Laplace transform f of t, which we denote as capital F of s. The definition, again, that's from 0 to infinity, e to the negative s times t, f of t, dt. So that's our, our definition of the Laplace transform. So, well, notice if we take the derivative, f prime of s. So I'm just going to take the derivative here. Well, we would have to take the derivative of the right side as well. So that's all I'm doing here on my first step. Well, I'm going to pull the derivative inside, but since we have two variables, uh, s and t, I'm going to write it as a partial. So we're going to take the, uh, the partial derivative with respect to s of e to the negative st times f of t dt. And if we do that, well, that's not too difficult. Um, if we take the derivative of e to the negative st, uh, if we take the derivative with respect to s, we'll simply be left with negative t. And then we'll have e to the negative st times f of t dt. And again, just by using our definition of the Laplace transform, you know, kind of we've got our negative t and our f of t dt in there. So by definition, this is simply going to equal the Laplace transform of negative t times f of t. And by linearity, we can pull the negative sign out front. So we have negative the Laplace transform of t times f of t. And again, what we started with, well, we started with f prime of s. So if we multiply both sides by our negative, we get the result that we set out to show. That if we multiply our original function by t, it says we simply take the negative of the derivative. Okay, so very straightforward to show. Let's do a quick example with it. So, so given that the Laplace transform of sine of b times t, and you can, again, justify this using the definition. I'm not going to show that here. So the Laplace transform of, of sine of b times t, that's b over s squared plus b squared. So what we're going to do is simply find the Laplace transform of, you guessed it, we're just going to multiply t times sine of bt. And this is useful, right, because now to find a new Laplace transform, you don't have to go through all the, the integration. It says once you know one, it's easy to, to, to find another one. Okay, so according to the definition, it's going to be negative, the derivative with respect to s of our... Uh, original Laplace transform here, which is b over s squared plus b squared. So now I'm just using the result that we came up with. And again, this is uh, hopefully pretty straightforward to do. I'm going to rewrite it here just one time. So this is b multiplied by s squared plus b squared raised to the negative first power. So I'm going to use the product rule when I take the derivative so there's our original uh, negative sign hanging out front. So we're taking the derivative with respect to s. So b is just a constant. And then when we take the derivative, well, the negative 1 comes out front. We leave the inside alone. We'll subtract 1 from the exponent. And now, again, we're taking the derivative with respect to s. So the derivative of s squared will get 2s. And again, since we're treating b like a constant, that the derivative of b squared will simply be 0. And, well, now our two negatives will make a positive. We have 2 times s times b. That will be left in the numerator. And I'm going to put the s squared plus b squared squared back in the denominator. 
and that's all there is to it.